Oh, we what a night. Ended up in uh, this uh, room here in Machuco. It's about 4,000 meters. And when I was riding here in the dark, going downhill, I was like, yes, already started feel a little tad better and I was just going to sleep somewhere in a corner that was covered and I found this big public bathroom here because tourists come here a lot and I was just going to snug up in there in a sleeping bag but then I saw this dude she went to get a lady they were still partying the last night of carnival here and she showed me to this room still a bit of a rough night try to get to sleep and pee a million times even when I was still in a tent up there just non-stop I kept drinking water but I still I had cotton mouth up there and coming down just completely dry. It's the first night at high altitude, not that big a success, about 43, 4,400. I ate a lot, I shouldn't have done that. I ate two tuna wraps, like a whole can of tuna in each and like 20 minutes between them because I wanted to eat, you know, light. So I spaced them. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah, a bit too optimistic after all that hooning around uh, up there. And oh well, let's do it here. Because I wanted to camp out somewhere between 3,600, 4,000. But then up there, I just got completely carried away on on the playground and the plan uh, plan changed. I settled down in a tent, fell asleep for like 45 minutes, woke up, all of a sudden felt like I, as if I couldn't keep the food down. And at first I had to try and bring my heart rate down because I can keep up with the breathing a bit. It was like a shortage. And then it was just hours awake trying to fight and the in increasing nausea and my headache uh, was still there. Took an ibu that worked briefly uh, and then it came back and I was like, yeah, that means that something's really there. I was like, nah, almost three o'clock in the morning. Pack it up, drag everything, just the tent, chucked it, hole in the bag there. Oh, by the way, you know what also didn't help? <laughs> just lying in the tent, getting increasingly nauseous. The smell, the smell of socks. <laughs> that whole beautiful mix that's in there, you know, when you wear the same stuff over and over again, you know, the sweaty pants, the underwear, the socks, some food. It was just too much. Normally it doesn't bother me, but yesterday I really noticed. Who? Folks keep getting bussed in by the dozens and more big buses, all heading back from morning trips. <laughs> Para yo dormir. Hoy yo me puedo rir otra vez, mas cuando llegué ayer en la noche estaba como... Mas estoy muy agradecido. Ahora vamos a comer una sopita. I had a banging lunch here. All recovered. I'm going to go back up where you came from last night. I'm going to check out the geyser. Come back down. Fire the luna in the evening. And then I'm just gonna head to Bolivia. Let's make it happen. And uh, lunch was pretty funny. The lady here that manages the place, really cheeky, but really great. Can't film her, because otherwise she runs away. Something to do, because she manages the place and it belongs to the natives here, the locals. Otherwise they think she's getting paid to be filmed and they're missing out on money. So that's interesting. She was dope. Let's go. Push this up. Hold on, little bikey. Pasa mucho, ¿no? No, todo tranquilo. Sí. En la okay. mañana sí. En la mañana harta gente. Toda la fumar no se ve, pero el geyser está activo siempre. Sí, para dar una, una vista al geyserito. Sí. Pero tiene que cancelar. ¿Qué? Tiene que pagar. ¿Cuánto? Te compro los tres. That's a familiar feeling. Primordial soup. I 
paid Kitty price to be here, not during peak explosion in the morning, what we wanted to see. Um, it's about five, six bucks. To come here during the peak, when it's all kicking off, 10,000 pesos, 17, 18 dollars. If I'd known that, I would not have come here probably. It's a lot of money to see something blow. That's part of nature. Yeah, sure, it might be park maintenance and all that. The place is severely domesticated. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, more than a few of these in uh, Japan. And there should be a thermal pool here somewhere. Hopefully it's not one of those salty ones. Cause you know how it is once you put on clothes after a salty bath, especially when it's uh, motorcycle clothes. Going to be a total hypocrite here and uh, say, I don't mind this being domesticated though. It should be nice. Well, there's one perk to being here late in the day. And that is, since I don't want to take the straps off the top bag, that off, take the strap up the lower bag so I can get into the top case, so I can get my uh, different pair of knickers. And it's not like I want to go in the pool with my knickers, because then I'll have wet knickers. So the perk of being here all alone is uh, I can just jump right in and nobody will see my debauchery. Yep, yeah, this is nice. Warm below, chilly above. You know, stuff like this, in places like this, it's a bonus. When we have open spaces like these, with the mountains, high altitude, and these long, vast roads disappearing on the horizon, that's the main gig. That's why I say the money's gotta go somewhere and can't go to places like this too much with high entry fee. For example, Turkey has a lot of awesome spots, lots of tourist traps there, but some really amazing places like historical cities, Greek, uh, Roman ruins, really cool. But a lot of times you pay, and quite dearly. So, you know, pick your places, go. But at the end of the day, the bike needs petrol, tummy needs food, sometimes accommodation, that adds up. And even better though, is when you still have places like this, but has not been domesticated. That's really cool. Had much better flip helmet before for less money so no bueno sun's going down bucket i'm still gonna go i'll sort this out later.
of a look. Slippery assault. Porta Valle de Luna. This looks like it's the old road up. All salted. It's become a river. Alp and Chico 805. I love you. Okay, now the rally fairing sucks a bit because I can't see difficult bits sometimes. We got up here. Spectacular. So in the area where I found a place to camp, there's a scary little old building from a distance. I was over there. Wanted to check what goes on here first. Hey peoples, if you like the videos, please consider supporting the channel, since it takes considerable time to make these. With your help, I can sit down and consistently make new episodes. Check out the link in the description. Thanks.